The call is out for more FMB firms in Singapore to digitalize and innovate. Authorities say they remain committed to supporting firms in training and reskilling of FMB workers. The road to digitalization needs to be complemented by well-trained talent so that the changes are implemented effectively for successful transformation. As FMB firms develop more robotics and automation equipment to improve productivity, higher value jobs such as food technologies, and even business development uh, managers can be created at the same time. Ella the robot can brew your coffee, mix it up to your liking, take payment, and serve it to you once your cuppa is all set. Hi Gary, your drink is ready. Ella has quite literally turned Crown Coffee into a one-man show. The cafe's owner, Keith Tan, developed the robot for hefty $4 million, but it's a sum he's hoping to make back. With Ella as the central figure in a fully automated cafe, he'll only need to have one employee from 12 before. The only manpower we require is the top-ups, you know, the fulfillment team. And that one guy that does the daily top-ups and cleaning, um, he can be doing five locations, six locations, depending on where they are. Um, and that cost is the only manpower cost, really. Um, Ella can run 24-7. Over at this food store, this machine turns out fresh, perfectly pulled noodles. It takes less than 8 seconds to produce a bowl at 10 cents each. According to Noodle Master's owner, Wilson Ang, making noodles from scratch can take 2 hours for just a half a day supply. And buying from suppliers means each bowl of noodles costs 60 cents. That's also the issue of finding the right help. The main, hi main hiring problem right now is finding the right people with the right sets of skills. Um, noodle making is a, is a set of skills that needs years of experience to master it and especially during this period of time um, a lot of is it's very difficult to find find people that is equipped with such Mr. Ang has sold this machine to eight food outlets here. Each cost $30,000, but businesses end up paying just under $6,000 thanks to the government's Productivity Solutions Grant, which subsidizes up to 80% of the costs of pre-approved tech tools. Still, it may be beyond the appetite of most eateries. The Restaurant Association of Singapore can't say for sure how many of its members automate food preparation, but believes the number is low. The problem costs. You go to most sushi chains, you will see they actually use a lot of uh, sushi robotics. So there are a lot of players that invest a lot of uh, time and energy to develop automation for sushi making. And henceforth, uh, you get a critical mass of the machines being uh, reasonable enough in terms of price. And so, if you look at that as a good example, then I think that you know you can see that it clearly works and uh, clearly people will implement it if it makes business sense. Until such scale can be achieved, the association sees more businesses being more productive by upscaling their workers instead. And that could just be the perfect recipe to achieving clinical efficiency with a human touch.